All right, what's up everybody? So today we're gonna see if we can solve the problems we've been having with the brakes. And with the video, because we and have our microphones. We have system. microphones now, we're professional. Look at this. See, it's beautiful, huh? Check it out right here. You can hear me from all the way back yeah, here. It doesn't matter. Mine. Doesn't matter. You can hear us anywhere. Now, the problem we've been having, if you watched the last video, is that we replaced the brake pads because they were squeaking, right? They weren't really worn down. I think they just didn't have any lube on the back. But we thought the they were worn down. I thought they were worn down. We went ahead and just replaced them anyways. I had already bought the parts. The problem we were having now is that they, I can see the piston moving. So I know it's pushing against the, the um, rotor. I think it's either the master cylinder or the booster that has gone bad. And we're gonna find that out today, hopefully. So we've got the snap on truck right here. I already know, loaded up with tools, everything you could ever want. Yet I keep buying more. Snap on, snap on, snap on, everything snap on. Snap on, you say? Put that, put that down, snap on, I said so. It's a new model. Snap on? It's not from Lowe's, I swear. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna have to pull the old brake fluid out of that master cylinder which I think the best way to do that is just going to be using an old rag and soaking it up. And two straws. And two straws. Yes, Riley is going to drink the rest of it. I guess we'll go ahead and start soaking this up, and then we need to bleed this guy, this new uh, master cylinder. We need to bleed this, um, and then we should be able to throw this on, hopefully without getting any brake fluid on any of the paint. We really should throw side cover or fender covers, whatever, over. We honestly probably should do that. We do. We should, but I don't have any. But as soon well, as there's a dog over there, we can skin real quick. There's a lot of dogs around here. Yeah. Trash bags. I do have trash bags. You think we should do that? Let's cut them down the side. Yeah. 255 just, gallon uh, ones. Put them here. And just uh, masking tape or something to hold it down. Yeah. Because it is a little windy today. Yeah. But you won't be able to know that because we have socks too. Socks. Wind socks. Wind socks. Yeah. Get a good, get a good angle on that. Yeah. Yeah. Really show them. Yeah. Yeah. Get the good. Okay. That's too close. Okay, I will go get trash bags. We'll probably put this in the vise. Um, just make sure you don't clamp on these. Clamp obviously. on these. Yes, Got clamp it. directly on these okay. so that we screw everything up. I don't know, clamp it somewhere down here. <laughs> and then we just need it to be held. Okay, clamping this in the vise. Like you said. Well, do it like I said. Yeah, I'm doing it like you said. There we go. You got to show them knife skills. Oh, them, them trash bag skills? Yeah, but them knife skills too. I think you've done, I don't think you did it right. No, I did it right. I don't think you did it right. I did it right. No, I don't think you did it right. No, trust me, I did You didn't right. know what you're doing. I, I, I did you it. You didn't know what you're doing. No, no. Nah, believe me, believe me. Nah, I've done this before, I've done this before. Back in Cancun, I, I used to hide bodies. By ripping apart a trash bag. Hey, don't worry about how we did it. We I just don't think did. you were doing it right. Ooh, scary. Mine's better. Wrong. Yours is a Benchmade Osborne. You have a Benchmade. No. Actually, no. I don't anymore. Not on you. No, I don't have... Oh, I do have Benchmade. Yeah. Rats. So you can't trash Benchmade. What you doing there? I'm putting masking tape on my car. That's not masking tape. Putting... Shipping tape. There you go. On my car. Ooh, I can imagine the comments now. You're gonna ruin the paint that way. The adhesive is gonna eat through the paint and then, and then. But the brake fluid isn't. Exactly. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah. It's the highest quality wrap that you can get here in Missouri, in mm. southwestern Missouri. Oh yeah, speaking no of air southwestern pockets, Missouri. Nothing. Look at this lovely southwestern Missouri day. Yeah, see the crap we put up for these videos? The, the crap we put up with? It is a these videos? solid, maybe 50 degrees. All right, I guess let's pop this bad boy off. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Now to be very, very careful. It's even more hilarious because they're probably picking that up with the mics. Okay, oh. well. Okay, so we, we think that might be the root cause, possibly. We don't know. But, but besides that, we've got some corrosion around here. So it'll be good just to pull it off and see what's, what's happening with it. This car sat for like four years with no movement. It's possible that that brake fluid made its way into that brake booster, yada, yada, yada. It's possible. I'm this not saying that's what happened. All of a sudden, yeah, after we exactly. The that's the like. That's the skeptical part of like, did this really happen, right when we happened to change brakes? I don't know. But at the same time, after reviewing the footage, reviewing the footage, and then slowing reviewing down the footage, the footage, and then reviewing the footage, we don't think we did anything wrong. Changing brakes is like trying to get screwing up a brake job is like trying to put a round peg in a rectangle. It can be done, it can be done, but how and why? You know, you, you just, it's hard to screw up a brake change, brake pad Especially change. a disc brake job. Now hopefully this soaks up a lot better than what it looks like it's doing. Hopefully it doesn't just eat the towel away. Hopefully that too. Why didn't I make you do this? I'm filming. Ooh. Yum. Easy on the paint. Ah, it's all over my hand. See, the, you know what the bad part about this is? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of bad parts about it. Well, there is, but I'm going to have to get a different rack because I can't get water. There's your rag right there. You can't. Come here, dog. <laughs> it's not even my dog. <laughs> exactly. Where's the pan? Right there. Where? Right there. There's oh. a pan. Sure. I don't know if it'll work. No clue. I'm gonna vote on the no category. The pan is disintegrating as we speak, so. Why'd you bring me the worst pan? You said find a pan. You didn't say find a good pan. All right, buddy. All right. Um, no, we need a smaller pan, something we can stick like either right here or right underneath here. Hmm. It's, it sucks because those lines are like right in the way. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I've got something for this. Okay. The perfect mixture. Perfect capsule, if you will. Ooh, a cup. A McDonald's cup. Ooh. If it can withstand McDonald's Coke, the acidic, acidic, The spiciness. The spiciness of this Coke, it can withstand any type of acidic brake fluid. Right out of the Snap-on wagon. Has yeah. all the tools. Yep. It got on my ankle. I'm probably going to lose that foot now. Probably. Oh, that didn't even go in the pan. Okay. Nice Let's shot. Try this again. Money shot. Boom. Look at that. McDonald's. Hooking us up. Almost here. like it's made for it. Hooking us up for this. Okay. I don't remember what size it was. Let's try quarter. A five sixteenths. Five and one sixteenth. Five and seven sixteenths. Go push on the brakes. Which uh, brake? <laughs> the brake. Which one? The all of them. The all of them. The all of them. Ready? Yep. Whoa. How you doing? You keep going. Yep. Keep her going. Okay. Wow. Okay. Keep going. Keep. Just keep. Keep pumping it. Nothing. Oh, that's because it's sucking air. Stupid. <laughs> all right, go now. That's all she got. Just sink into the floor now? Pretty much. Good? I mean, no, but sure. Okay. Here, drink that. It, why does it look like Coke? Hold on, let me get the camera. That looks like McDonald's Coke. I think I found the secret recipe. They just carbonate. carbonate. Brake fluid. Yeah. Well, no wonder why McDonald's always screws me up. Yeah, you drink that stuff and Ugh. have to go to the bathroom right after. I always thought Taco Bell was the worst one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Taco Bell is pretty bad. I saw a meme the other day, and it was, you, you've seen Kung Fu Panda, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was the... It was uh, like 100 years ago, though. It was... When, you know when the old turtle is dying? Yeah. And he hands the staff to the short thingy? <laughs> short whatever that thingy. thing is? Yeah. 
anyway, he hands him the stab, but instead it was me after eating Taco Bell, handing the plunger over to the Taco Bell employee. It is now time for you to take over, sir. And the Taco Bell employee is like freaking out. Wait, what? <laughs> we need to have a disclaimer on the front of every video that we're idiots and we don't really know what we're doing. So don't repeat any of our actions unless you want to screw something up. Yeah, probably. I don't know, I've never done this before. How else are we supposed to learn? Ain't nobody show me how to do it. No. I'm just out here trying to do it. I'm poor. I can't afford to pay somebody else to do it. So, some dummy ripped this out <clears throat> when I was changing the battery on the camera. So, there you go. That's what it looks like. It looks like a master cylinder. Okay, so what's the next step? Next step is to try and get some water. And trying to loot the brake fluid that's on there. Some water. Uh, a hey, damp rag. Hey, you missed the snap-on oh, thing. I've got thing. water. What? It's everything you said at the beginning of the video. Everything you would require is in the snap-on vehicle. You're right. You're right. That's beer. That's not water. Okay, and it is water. <laughs> Never doubt a man when he's down. Never doubt a snap-on snap -on vehicle. It is a snap-on vehicle. Where's the snap-on badge? I bought it with my own money. That's why I have no money. Uh-huh. Okay, new one. So now, let's go bleed the new one. All right. You better not be talking smack on me. Nope, didn't say a word, actually. Well, I'll hear it in editing, so. Okay, so first things first, take this out. And chuck it. To depress this thing at the back, but I'm gonna need it now. Oh, there's an idea. Hopefully that doesn't just crinkle that edge. Oh, we're good. Squirt. Um, I think you need a refund. There's no brake fluid in there. Yep. How dare they? At least it doesn't look like the charger one. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's true. Um, there's a big so difference. That's what it's supposed to look like. I wow. think that might be our issue. Maybe. Okay, so. Fluid, side down. Well, no dull. I didn't think it was. It doesn't fit. How do you even need to mark that? I don't, maybe that. Why do you need else? to put warning know. labels on half the stuff nowadays? I also do not know. stick finger in light socket. Hey, hey, I've done it. We've all done it. Yeah, you'd only do it once, <laughs> either because you learn or because you die. And the likelihood of you dying from 110 volts is rather low anyway. Unless you're just a pansy and can't handle it. Yeah. Huh? Why didn't you? Why you put a warning label on this stuff? Don't drink it, but not directions on that. Does this actually say don't drink it? If it doesn't say don't drink it, I'm gonna drink some. Okay. And get my Prevents hand. corrosion of all metals, and yet it eats paint. Hmm. I mean, paint's not a metal. So. Yeah. Do not refill container. Well, it doesn't say don't drink. It just says don't refill the container. It's true. It's true. Okay. Mm. Safety squints. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are we doing this right? Who knows? No clue. No clue. It's a good thing we got a whole jug here. <gasps> I see air bubbles. Yeah, that you do. Well, that would explain why they don't have the bleeding valves on there. Yeah. So what, you just do it until there's no air bubbles? Pretty much. At least according to the instructions. Which you'd never read, because you're a dude. Yeah. You don't need instructions. Oh, yes, but you can see how that level's going down. Yep. How many crummy jokes can we make today? Probably a lot. Probably. Hope this gets both of us in frame. I can't even tell. Me either. Oh, that's a good one. You think they'll pick that up on video? I don't know. I mean, the mic's right there. Cheers. Cheers. Well. That's all you need. Or maybe mm. that's what it's supposed to be like. Mm. Mm. Spicy. See, it's a car. No, nope, it, yeah, it goes. Yep. Yep. Well, of course. We just figured out course. the master cylinder doesn't fit. I, I, yep. Never trust AutoZone. No. Or O'Reilly. Or O'Reilly's, yeah. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Because there's no way for me to have known that until I take it off. Yeah. Why do I even bother? That pisses me off so much. Yeah. 
Because it's every time. It's not even like this happens. Yeah, oh, it's every it time I go. Once a that once a while. No, it happens every freaking time. Did you have to special order that? <sighs> yeah, I did. And it's always right when we're in the middle of something. Yeah. Like when we change the oil on <clears throat> that. Like I said, there's no way I could have checked that without taking that off. And now that it's off, it's off. And now I'm gonna have to go back and order another one and it's gonna take a few days. So that means we won't even be able to finish this until next week, which we were already working on it last week. Yep. So now we have no footage for this week or at least one of the weeks we're gonna have to next come up Next week. With. We'll, have, we'll have stuff for this week. We won't have stuff for next week. We can always film something on the way to AutoZone. Yeah, but it's stupid. That, and like, I, this is full of brake fluid. Yeah, they're not gonna take that back. Ridiculous. Yep. Where do I even put this? I have no idea. You have a box? I have to throw it back in the vise. I don't even know. Are they open on Sundays? I can look real quick. They are open today. They, they are. at seven. All right. Load up in the Snap-on mobile. Okay. I'll have to get some gear. Free that can talk to me. I would appreciate that. All right. Um, I think she's on her way real quick. Thank you. Welcome. Do we have the old one in here or the new one in here? No, it's over there. This is Vanessa. How can I help you? Yeah, I've got a brake booster here that's supposed to fit my car, and it doesn't. I've already filled it up with fluid. Will you guys take that back or no? Yeah, if it's not the right one, you bought it from us, absolutely. Okay. Do I need the receipt? I believe it's got a lifetime warranty on it. If you have the receipt, that would make it easier. But if you don't, I could look it up. Okay. I'll see if I can find that. It was a week or two ago so i don't i can't promise that i've got it but i'll look for it are you are you wanting a different one the right one yeah i'll have to get a different one because it does okay. not fit on my my uh, brake booster okay sounds good yeah right. bring it in and we will do what what is best all right thank you you're welcome all right bye at least i'm gonna replace it yeah the annoying part is now i've just wasted more brake fluid well, I've, I mean, it, I've still got enough, but that was a, that was at least a quarter of that can. Yeah. And now it's like great. Yep. And it's not cheap. That thing's like 40 bucks. Yeah. Brake fluid is expensive.